American history is strewn with references to fighting and courageous women. Women like Aminairinas, Ya Asantawa, Queen Muhumuza, Queen Amina among others. Today we are taking a look at the Dahomey female warriors. The Dahomey Amazons were frontline soldiers in the army of the Kingdom of Dahomey, a West African empire that existed from 1625 to 1894. It was reported in 1760 that the Dahomey warriors were about 600 all armed with musketoons and swords. At a parade in 1850, that number had risen to 5,000. Oral and written accounts differ over the origins of the women-only warriors. Some sources describe the Dahomey female warriors as elephant hunters. The more widely accepted theory is that they served as royal bodyguards to Hangbi and the kings who came after. In 1861, the Italian priest Francesco Boghero described an army exercise where he saw thousands of women scaling a 120m high thorny acacia bush. They did this barefoot without a whimper. In 1889, French colonial administrator Jean Bayol described witnessing one young Amazon approach a captive as part of her training. She walked jauntily up, swung her sword three times with both hands, then calmly cut the last flesh that attached the head to the trunk. She then squeezed the blood of her weapon and swallowed it. The Dahomey female warriors were not allowed to have children or partake in any form of family life. They were formally married to the king. As he didn't have sexual relations with them, they remained celibate. However, a very few were given off in marriage to respected dignitaries of the kingdom. The warrior women enjoyed certain privileges, like tobacco and alcohol. They also resided in the king's palace after dark, which the men were not allowed to do. The Dahomey warriors had as many as 50 slaves per soldier and accounts stated that when leaving the palace to the outside community, the soldiers usually had a slave in front of them. The slave would ring a small bell which was to alert people of the warriors approaching. The Dahomey female warriors wore ornaments and charms. They also wore necklaces of imported glass beads, amulets of silver, brass or iron. They had bracelets of silver, copper, iron or tin. The warriors who handled the bow and arrow had a wide ivory bracelet on their left arm. Monkey skins were another garment. The warrior women excelled at hand-to-hand -hand combat and handled knives skillfully. They were keenly afraid of breaking their vow of celibacy in case the gods struck them with bowel disease. Still, in 1863, 150 Dahomey female warriors were found to be pregnant and were judged by King Lil himself. When King Bihanzen, the last king of the Dahomey, was overthrown by the French, the Dahomey female warriors were defeated and their power diminished from there on out. Please support my channel by liking this video or sharing it. Till next time.